Facts First presents Homeless Man Finds Something on the Street That Changes His Fortune Forever First, help us spread the word about Facts First by clicking that like button, and also be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. Elmer Alvarez is a man from New Haven, Connecticut. Elmer was homeless, and during the summer, living on the streets it really wasn't all that bad. But during those cold New England winters, well, living on the street, that's dangerous. Elmer was on the streets because he was once a drug addict. When his 33-year-old brother died suddenly, he turned to drugs to ease his pain. His addiction led him to a life of crime, which landed him in jail five times. He even lost contact with his family as a result of his addiction. He also lost his job and his home. Things were bleak for Elmer. Elmer knew that he had to make some changes in his life, so he stopped using drugs. He went to Narcotics Anonymous meetings to get the support he needed in order to stay clean. He was serious about his sobriety, and he beat his addiction. His next struggle was getting off the streets. Unfortunately, that is a lot easier said than done. He was homeless, and his appearance made him look homeless. He knew nobody would choose him over an applicant with a home and a professional-looking appearance. Elmer felt trapped in a situation he couldn't get out of. Elmer was walking down the street on a cold November day when he looked down and saw a piece of paper. He picked it up and discovered that it was a check that had been endorsed. It was for $10,000. This kind of money could have done plenty for Elmer, but he knew that he couldn't keep it. It's not his money. Somebody had lost it. So he wanted to return it to its rightful owners. Fortunately, there was a phone number on the back. Elmer talked to one of his friends and asked to borrow his phone. Since Elmer didn't speak English very well, he asked his friend to make the call for him. The check, turns out, belonged to a woman named Roberta. She was the CEO and president of Outreach Realty Services and Outreach School of Real Estate. Like Elmer, Roberta didn't always have it easy. When she was 17 years old, she got pregnant. She was forced to drop out of school and soon found herself homeless. She was living in a homeless shelter when somebody decided to give her a chance, and she was given an internship at Yale University, and that helped her get out of her desperate situation. When she got this phone call about her check, she couldn't believe that she'd even lost it. She was shocked somebody was trying to return it, and she wanted to meet this good Samaritan. When Roberta met up with Elmer and his friend, Elmer was too polite to draw attention to himself. Roberta was recording the meeting on Facebook Live, and his friend told Roberta that Elmer was the one who found the check. When she found out that Elmer was homeless and living on the streets, it struck a chord in her. She wanted to do something to help Elmer the way that her internship helped her. Roberta went to her office and wrote Elmer a reward check. She knew that he needed more than that. Rather than give him a temporary solution to his problem, she was going to set him up for success. So the two went their separate ways, but Roberta, she had a few things planned in store for Elmer. When Elmer went to cash the check, he did have some proper identification, but the teller refused to cash it right away. He saw this homeless man with a large check, so he called Roberta to see if the check was actually written by her. Roberta felt bad Elmer was being treated this way. She confirmed that yes, she wrote the check, and it made her put her plan into full gear. Elmer was invited to meet up with Roberta later on. When he arrived, he walked into a packed room. Everybody was applauding. Roberta presented Elmer with a thank you certificate from Miss Millionaire Mindset, which is an organization aimed at fighting poverty. Next, she told Elmer that she set him up for classes at her real estate school at no charge. She was even sending him to classes to improve his English. Elmer began to cry. He couldn't believe this was happening to him. This was not all Roberta was giving Elmer, either. She told him that there was an apartment waiting for him and the rent and the bills were already covered in full for the next six months. Finally, she told him that when he finished the classes and passed the test, he had a job interview waiting for him at her real estate firm. Elmer wasn't going to squander this gift. He took the classes and passed his test. When it was time to take his final real estate exam, he aced it. He was put on the board of directors of Roberta's company. He even joined the National Association of Realtors. He and Roberta got together and started a nonprofit called Outreach Foundation. 
they wanted to help other homeless individuals. They were going to buy dilapidated properties and flip them to transitional homes that would offer services beyond that of homeless shelters. It'd give these people the same chance that Roberta gave Elmer. Elmer often wonders if it was fate that made him find the check on that day. He wonders if he was meant to meet Roberta so that she could change his life. Roberta is thrilled that she could help him. She believes in paying it forward. That's what she did for Elmer. It's what she and Elmer are now doing for others. Show your support for Roberta and Elmer by clicking that like button and subscribe for more.